What is up, guys? J back in. Yeah. Last screw ups. Most specifically, I accidentally um deleted the 25th and 26th part of this Nuzlocke challenge. And uh, by that, by the time I delete, by the time I accidentally deleted them, I basically almost finished the Nuzlocke challenge. So yeah, how do I remedy? How do I remedy? Remedy this by starting up another file, choosing uh, Torchic again without the other members. Th this is basically the most efficient way I can. Um, I can. Uh, re-record this so yeah because um, there's nothing actually too important here there's no, I'm not gonna do any gym battles in this part nor the next part um, that's actually uh, the, in the 27th part which thankfully I didn't um, delete so yeah like seriously I couldn't have uh, deleted the previous part where you know the audio cut off, uh, the, the audio went already uh, in the middle, like seriously. That's just my luck. Uh, oh well. Wait, do I have the Acrobite or the Mock Bike right now? So, yeah, um, oh, I have the, actually have the Acrobite, okay. I actually did not uh, follow the Nuzlocke rules uh, to the letter. But I did follow it to some extent, and by some extent, I I mean, um, oh come on, okay, there's a calcium here if you guys want. Uh, by that I mean, um, I stopped following I stopped following them uh, after I got to Route 119. So, yeah, uh, because I encountered a a one percent Kecleon, like seriously. How could you not want to catch that? So, yeah. Okay, right now we are going to the Weather Institute. So, yeah, let's just hope that this doesn't keep happening in the future. <sighs> Excuse me, I had to we'll restart uh, from scratch and yeah at least this is a really efficient way to like clear uh, the game like using only one Pokemon which is my star probably should have you probably should have done that for this Nuzlocke challenge I mean I've lost so much I've lost um, my Swellow Ace uh, my uh, what was it uh, what was I call again? My Swab Blue Bluey, and also um, yeah, I forgot what I forgot what else, but still. So yeah, I lost uh, quite a few mons here. So yeah, things are not looking bright for me. Uh, for um, right, uh, you know, as uh. Wait, <laughs> I was gonna say, things are not looking bright for me by the time that uh, you guys are looking at this, the 25th part. Um, yeah, this is just a reenactment, so don't take this too seriously. Um, yeah. Cool. Show me their true potential. Oh yeah, and also uh, the why not that I hatched um, in part twenty one, I think it was. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, I don't have any TV for slash. Wow, I did not take note of that. Um, yeah, pretty sure that a lot of you guys would notice it. Um, yeah, that was a pretty much an, an illegal hatch because I because it hatched in. Um, Route 111. So, yeah, and I and I already caught. Oh, oh yeah, I also lost my electrite. Uh, I forgot the name of Volter. Uh, yeah, that I caught an electrite there. No wait, no. I did. 
it wasn't the electric. It was sunny. It was sunny. My uh, my shiny uh, oddish, which is currently a gloom. So yeah. So basically, I can't. Uh, you know, uh, I can't use that. Why not? I either had to release it or, per or permanently box it, which I do. So yeah, thankfully, I don't use it. Um, yeah, I don't use it um, in this playthrough, so yeah, there's no need to worry about uh, me breaking in Nuzlocke rules because technically I did not. So, yeah. I pretty much forgot about, um, forgot about the Nuzlocke rules when uh, that why not hatch, so... Yeah, but because of the fact that I'm going to permanently box it anyway, it doesn't really matter. So, yeah. Seriously? Okay, can we finally get to- uh, oh yeah, there's this thing too. Oh, Tropius. <laughs> Elixir, if you guys want it, go get it. Okay, this ninja boy here, he thinks he's so cool. <laughs> Kata. Can't believe it hasn't evolved into a ninja yet. Thank you for getting. Oh, yeah. Blaze here is basically over leveled, so he can basically um just sweep every Pokemon in this group, so without any worry. So yeah. Blaze kick, probably gonna miss. Yep. Oh, come on, seriously? Come on, blaze kick, hit, 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 I tell you, hit. Yeah. One more, and Ninjask! Dang it! Okay, Blaze Kick, hit, 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 come on, hit, hit it, hit it, hit it! <laughs> hit it, hit it, hit it! Okay, come on. Come on, Blaze, I believe in- OH, COME ON! I believe in you, Blaze, come on! Yes! It's down for the count. Yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> da, 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 da. Thank you! Okay, and there's this guy. Cool. Okay, one shot or is it technically is is double is uh, using two double? I actually don't know if this is a one shot or two shot. Is it considered one shot or two shot? It's the same move, but it hits twice. Like seriously, I'm confused here. Like what is happening right now? Okay, so yeah, you guys, give me a sec. I need to do something. <laughs> yeah, really. Need to work on freeing my schedule here, but yeah, I need to work on something, so yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Alright, Mac, let's go into the Weather Institute. 
uh, liberate this place just like how Team Plasma wanted to liberate Pokemon except it, except they don't really consider the Pokemon's feelings so yeah this time we know what the Weather Institute wants they want to be free out of Team Magma's control so yeah double kick alright that's cool Yep, you lost. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> now you. No, you quit meddling. <laughs> okay, slash. Puchina or Puchina. I, I still don't know how to pronounce that. Like, I really should learn how to pronounce that. It's a Puchina or Puchina. I mean, it does have hyena in its, in its name, so yeah. Yep, you're blasting off again. <laughs> uh, iconic. Damn, I thought there was only one. You know, I, kind of, I, real, I find it really weird that um, even though Castform is an artificial Pokemon, it can be uh, found in the very easily in the wild in Pokemon Sun and Moon, and depending how, on how you look at it, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So yeah. <laughs> Like, did, there is actually a place where you can uh, pretty easily encounter a cast form to SOS battle in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, so, yeah. The other places require you to use a uh, weather move, so, mm. yeah, pretty troublesome. I'm not sure about Sun and Moon, though, like, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't actually played Sun and Moon, I played Ultra Sun, uh, a new friend that I met uh, allowed me to play his 3DS. Like I bought it for like uh, about four weeks. <laughs> so, yeah, like that game was fun. Okay, don't judge me. And yeah, I tried to catch as many Pokemon as possible, and one of them was a Castle. So I know from experience that Castle is pretty easily obtainable in Pokemon Ultra Sun if you know where it is and how to get it. So. Yep, I got ya. Yep. I'm going for both, to be honest. Like, in real life, I'm, I'm a pretty ignorant person. And in the game, well, like seriously, our, our player character is pretty much fearless here. So, yeah. I can't believe we went from battling a level 5 camera up to a level 28 Numo. <laughs> Alright, we did it! Yay! Wait, thank you! Who? Should I take that as a compliment or. You know what? I just take it as a compliment. Um, yeah, give me a sec. Alright, so I got the cast form and I forgot to film it. Why me? Why? Why do I keep doing this? But anyways, uh, oh yeah. Back full. Forgot about that. I keep forgetting about that. Uh, so yeah, over here we're gonna encounter May. Over here. Are we gonna battle her? I forgot. 
Oh, yeah, we are. Okay. This should be quick. Oh, unless I get status condition uh, from the Stroomish, which I hope not. Yay. Another <laughs> slash. Alright, level up. Marsh stomp. Double kick. Come on, come on, finish it off, finish it off. Yes! Yay. Yep, thank you. Yay, thank you. Yeah, she probably is, but oh well, I'm not going back. <laughs> so yeah, this will be the end of this video. Uh, in the next video, we are going to poetry study and cat and catch some Kecleon, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!